Welcome back to Lake News Weekend. The sun starting to rise. We're getting a better look at the damage left behind by a tornado that touched down in Cape Coral. Preliminary reports say it was an EF2 tornado. Right now, Lake News Weekend, anchor Corey Lazar is live at Southwest 15th Avenue and Southwest 40th Terrace. Corey. Yeah, Tara, we've been here all morning long, and slowly, as the sun is rising, people who live along the street are coming back, and the look on their faces is just terrible because they really didn't know how bad the damage was until the sunlight um, started to illuminate all of the destruction. Now, take a look. Weird things out here. Here's the top of a grill in someone's front yard, and if you look back, when I'm a photographer, take a look back into the backyard. The bottom half of the grill is on the very back part of the backyard, and this person's lanai is just destroyed. Now, take a look at this. This truck was in the driveway, and it was blown up into the air, flipped over, and just missed the next door neighbor's house. Um, they got very lucky because this truck could have done some major damage if it did hit their home. Now, if you look at this house uh, that we're live in front of, it's just destroyed. The roof is off, the windows have blown out, we know about five people, again, like I've been telling you, were taking shelter in this home. Some of them were small children, and thankfully they were all able to make it out okay. Now, I'm gonna swing over here across the street because people are starting to really get a good glimpse of what is exactly happening. The homes across the street, the roofs are gone. Half of the homes are gone as well. Some of the trees are just snapped in half. There's debris all over the roadway. People's roofs are on the road. Framing from homes litters the road. Um, and random things that you would never think could come up out of the ground uh, are, are just scattered over the road. A guy we spoke with next door said he just uh, cemented a large flagpole four feet in the ground with a lot of concrete. The tornado just sucked that up, bended it, and threw it into someone else's yard. So that just gives you a glimpse of how severe the wind was out here because people are just walking around with a dead look on their face because they just don't know what to do next. But if you're somebody who needs help, you need to call, uh, you can call the American, Can American Red Cross, but they're also at Oasis Middle School this morning in Cape Coral. We spoke to someone who lives on this road um, just a few minutes ago who says they took shelter just right in time before that tornado hit their home. Take a look.